Hey art friends, today we're going to draw the hot face emoji. I hope you're going to follow along with me. Now it's just me in the studio today, so remember if I ever go too fast or you need extra time to finish any of the steps, remember to pause the video. I'm using marker paper to draw on. That's because at the end we're going to use markers to color with. I also have a template to use to trace around for the shape of our emoji, a perfect circle. First I'm going to draw with a pencil and then at the end we're going to use our marker I also have a white colored pencil for the highlights. Parents and teachers, be sure to check out our website at artforkidshub.com for links on where you can purchase all of the same art supplies that I'm using. Let's first use our template in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna use my pencil to trace around it. I like using mechanical pencils, that way I don't have to worry about sharpening the pencil. I'm gonna reach all the way around and trace around the plate with the pencil. Now we can put this off to the side and there's our perfect circle. Now let's draw the details on our hot face emoji. Let's first draw the mouth. Right down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw an oval shape. I'm pressing hard so that you can see the shape on the camera. But remember, you guys can press lightly so that it's easier to erase. All right, there's our, the shape of our mouth and we can draw the tongue sticking out. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to draw a straight line coming down and stopping at the circle, the outside circle. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Then over here on the left, we're going to draw a curve or a U shape to connect the left side over to the right side. And this is why we're drawing with a pencil so that we can go outside of that circle shape and we can come back in and erase the guidelines. Let's erase the bottom of the mouth and also the bottom of the circle. Now let's draw the eyes and they're right above the edge of the mouth. So we're going to go straight up and that's where we'll draw the eyes and the eyes are oval shapes. I'm going to draw about this size, one on the left and we're going to try to draw that same size oval over here on the right. So we'll start about the same height, come down and back up. I'm going to go back over it a couple times just to make it darker so you can see it on the camera. Now let's draw the eyebrows and they're kind of worried eyebrows. So we're, we're going to draw a curve that starts out here and comes up. Then we can come back down and we're going to make the eyebrows thicker. So we'll come up like this and then back down. And then right at the end, we're going to curve and connect back to where we started. Let's try to create that same exact shape over here on the right side. We're going to start in the same spot and I'm going to draw out. So we'll start above the eye and we're going to try to curve out to the same spot over here. That's okay if they don't look exactly the same. Just try your best. Now we're going to draw the top of the eyebrow coming down and then we're going to curve down and connect to the bottom. Because we're using pencils, you can draw it over again Try to make it look closer and then you can erase any lines that you don't want to use. Next, we're ready to draw the drop of sweat that's coming down from the side of our face. So it starts right about here. It's halfway in between the eye and the edge of the face. So I'm going to draw a little point, guide point, and we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down and connects to the outside circle. Then we're going to draw another diagonal line that matches, but going the other direction. So we should have an upside down V. Now we can draw the bottom of the drop. We're going to go outside of the circle, curve around and connect to the right side. Next, switch to your eraser and we're going to erase the circle that's going through that drop of sweat. Now we're ready to switch to our marker and also our plate that we used for the template. I'm going to line it up where I had it before. And this part's a little tricky, but we're going to try to make sure that we don't draw the circle through the tongue and also that drop of sweat. So I'm going to start at the drop, trace around, and then I'm going to end over here at the tongue. Then we're also going to draw in between the drop and the tongue on the left side. 
And there we go, we got it. Now we're ready to trace over the tongue. I'm gonna to start here, and we're just gonna trace over that pencil guideline that we've already drawn. Now we can draw the mouth. I'm gonna start here on the left, and we're gonna trace around the pencil, just like we did for the tongue, and then connect on the right side. Now we're ready to trace over the eyes. Draw the left eye first, and then over here on the right eye. Then we can also draw the eyebrows. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time to trace over any of these shapes. Now let's draw the drop of sweat. Start at the top, curve around at the bottom, and then back up to the top. We did it, we're finished with our marker. Now let's switch to our eraser and we're gonna erase any of the pencil lines, so the guy lines that you can still see. Now we're ready to color our emoji, and I'm using our biannual markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home. You could use crayons or even different brands of markers. You could even use paint if you want. If you have the same set, the colors that I'm using are R607, this is a pink for the tongue, Y713, this is an orange color, and then on top I'm gonna layer R105, which is more of a red color. Then also B203, that's for the drop of sweat. Now before we color, I wanted to also show you that I have this little swatch page. I've made this myself because the caps on the markers are a little difficult to pick out the colors or the right color that you wanna use because they don't exactly match. So I've used a piece of paper, a scratch paper, and then gone through and colored a little block of color on the paper and then written the number that's on the cap right below. That makes it easier for me to pick out the different colors that I wanna use for each of my drawings. I'm ready to color. This part I'll fast forward, but remember at the end you can pause the video to match my same coloring. I forgot the color for the eyes. I'm using R126. This is a dark red, kind of a brown color. I colored everything in solid. The orange and the red, I layered on top of each other. The blue for the drop, and also the pink on the tongue. Now you could leave it just like this, or you could keep going and add highlights. I'm gonna use my white colored pencil to add highlights to the drop of sweat. I'm also using the dark blue to add shading or reflections to the drop. Then I'm gonna use the brown for a little shadow underneath the drop, and also next to the tongue. I'm also gonna use the brown to make a little line down the middle of the tongue. Now we can switch to the white colored pencil and add a small highlight to the tongue. Also using the brown colored pencil to add a little shadow or shading around the tongue. Now I'm gonna use the white again to add a little highlight down here around the mouth and also underneath the eye. Can also add a highlight underneath the eyebrow. Now I'm ready to add a highlight to the face to make the whole shape look more three-dimensional. I'm first gonna draw with my white colored pencil a curve across the top of the face and this curve matches the outside shape or the circle. Then up at the top, I'm gonna to press hard, and then towards the bottom, I'm gonna get lighter and lighter. So this looks like a highlight at the very top of our emoji. I wanted the highlights to look yellow, so I'm going back over everything with a yellow colored pencil. We did it, we finished drawing and coloring our hot face emoji, it turned out awesome. Now that last part was kind of tricky with all the highlights and shading, but remember you can leave that part off to keep the lesson a little easier. Also remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine, because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.